A very good morning. It's just past 8 this 12th August morning and we're back again with Breakfast Show. I'm Anil Thomas. Eid Mubarak. May the noor of this Eid illuminate your heart, mind, soul and may all your prayers be answered. Over the next one hour, we'll take you through the major happenings across India and the globe from the field of politics, business and sports. Also our regular segment on health and good news India story. Our top focus over the day, Eid celebrations from the length and breadth of the country. Also, today is the last Monday of the holy month of Shravan. The Indian cricket team riding on Captain Virat's knock to surge ahead in the one-day series against West Indies. We'll also be getting live inputs from our correspondents from various angles on the top stories. But first up this Monday morning, the headlines we are tracking at the top of this hour. Eid ul Azha being celebrated with religious fervor in Jammu and Kashmir. The usual vehicular traffic on roads. Administration says no dearth of essential commodities. Government takes a series of steps to help general public and employees in Jammu and Kashmir. Banks to open even on holidays. Six markets established in Srinagar in the wake of Eid. 300 special telephone booths set up to help public to communicate with their kin and relatives. Eid ul Azha being celebrated with religious fervor to commemorate the great sacrifice of Hasrat Ibrahim and Hazrat Ismail. President Ramnath Kovind and Vice President greet people on the occasion. Following Pakistan suspending Samjhauta Express train services on its side, Indian Railways announces that it too has cancelled the run at its end of the international border. Home Minister Amit Shah conducts aerial survey of flood-affected areas of Karnataka and Maharashtra, holds meeting with senior officials to evaluate uh, uh, the rescue and rehabilitation measures. In sports, uh, India defeat West Indies by 59 runs by the Duckworth uh, Lewis method to take a 1-0 lead in the three-match one-day series in Port of Spain. Bhuvneshwar Kumar takes four wickets in eight overs. And now for the stories in detail. Eid ul Azha is being celebrated with religious fervor across Jammu and Kashmir. As the state gears up to celebrate Eid festival, the Jammu and Kashmir administration on Sunday said it had taken all necessary steps to ensure an adequate supply of necessities to help the locals. The JNK administration on Sunday had even issued an advisory saying that 300 special telephone booths are being established to help the people communicate with their kin who are residing in different parts of India. Banks and ATMs have also been made operational for the festive season. Six markets have also been established in Srinagar city, while 2.5 lakh sheep have been made available for the people or the public there for Eid ul Azha today. The authorities have also deployed mobile vans for door-to-door -door delivery of vegetables, LPG cylinders, poultry and eggs. The administration said all health institutions in Kashmir division were functional fully with sufficient staff as well as medicine stocks. Flights are operating as per schedule and air tickets are being treated as movement passes. The festival of Eid al-Zaha is being also being celebrated in the other parts of the country with religious fervor and gaiety. The festival commemorates the willingness of Prophet Ibrahim to sacrifice his son as an act of obedience to God. The festival marks the end of Hajj pilgrimage for Muslims. In New Delhi, thousands attended the special Eid namaz at Jama Masjid. People were seen exchanging greetings and warm wishes on the occasion. Similar scenes of worship and exchange, exchange of greetings were also seen in Mumbai city. In other states too, the festival is being celebrated with great fervor and traditional warmth. President Ramnath Kovind has greeted the people on the occasion of Eid ul Zaha, saying the festival symbolizes love, fraternity and service to humanity. In his message, the president said on the occasion of Eid ul Zaha, 
Uh, he offered his prayers and greetings uh, and good wishes to all fellow citizens, especially the Muslim brothers and sisters in India and abroad. Vice President also greeted the people on the occasion of Eid al Zaha, saying that the festival inspires the feeling of brotherhood, compassion, and unity. The Vice President, in his message, said that the festival is an ode to the virtues of devotion, faith, and sacrifice. He hoped that the festival will strengthen the spirit of generosity and bring people closer to one another. Well, to get a perspective there from Ground Zero, joining us from Mumbai is our correspondent Shishir Shelar and Meghna Dev joining us from Delhi this morning. Both of you welcome. Uh, good morning. Uh, first, let me come to Shishir. Shishir, how are the celebrations there in Mumbai city with regards to Eid? Well, absolutely. Since morning, we have seen here that especially uh, the prayer grounds, mosques, people have thrown a large number. Right now, I am at Mumbai's Mahim Dargah and behind me you can see that prayer is being offered right now. Well, here, uh, the first prayer offered in the morning at 7 o'clock uh, and later on it's now uh, the second prayer, uh, which is the last prayer is also here, uh, which is being offered here at 8 o'clock here. Well, thousands of people come here, especially to Mahim Dargah, also Vajali Dargah. There are some famous Dargahs in Mumbai where people come from a different parts of the city and offer their prayers here. And immediately after prayers, you can see that the shops have been opened on the both sides of the road here, the sweet shop, people buy some sweets here, greet each other, I know, especially, and those who are youngsters, those who are, I know, uh, 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 the small uh, the children's also actually celebrate here and they get Eid. And that's the reason you can see a festive season and a festive mood across this entire region here, especially the Mahim Darga where I'm standing right now, where you can see that the large number of people have actually came in large number in the morning also. They offered prayers and later on, they went to the houses where they, all people were dressed up, children have been dressed up, and have also, you know, uh, they have also wear ithar also, and especially buying some sweets here. That's what since morning we have seen. And obviously, Mumbai is uh, known for you know different celebrations, be it various other uh, celebration, and just like that, even Eid also has been uh, celebrated in you know, a lots of gaiety and fervor here. And that's the reason. Since yesterday, we have seen here in Mumbai basically all the markets were packed here. We have seen the people who are shopping for a new dress, new clothes, buying some sweets. And of course, the other festive items here. And the same kind of mood we have seen in today also. We have seen lots of people have bought, uh, you know, uh, uh, the animals also, the bakra also uh, for the kurbani. That's what we've seen since morning also and greeting each other uh, since morning. We've also got some of the good festive uh, sweet items from the people. They've said that it's Eid okay. today. And of course, uh, people have said that this is a festival of sacrifice and of course to spread happiness. So also we are enjoying Eid here at Mumbai's Maim Darga. Anil. Okay, uh, Shushir, you stay with us. Let me shift focus to Meghna, who's there, uh, joining us from uh, Delhi there. Uh, Meghna, from Delhi 6 or the whole of Chandni Chowk, uh, how's the celebrations or how grand is the Eid there in Old Delhi? Absolutely, Anil. Uh, I would like to tell you, in the morning, around 7 a.m., around 7, 10 a.m., the, the people, the devotees had offered namaz here. And I would like to actually, you know, pan for all the shots. I would like to show, keep you with the visuals here, that people are still, you know, embracing each other and greeting each other on this okay. pious festival. This festival is uh, considered to be one of the most pious festivals uh, uh, for the Muslims. And uh, people are actually embracing each other, giving them greetings, blessings. And obviously, it is one of those moments where and people want to actually, you know, take out time to meet their relatives, to meet their neighbors. And obviously, festivals are just another way to actually, you know, come closer to the society, come closer to the community. And since morning, we have been seeing people in thousands of numbers had come here at Jama Masjid and offered, uh, offered their uh, namaz here. And uh, we have a few people with us. Let's quickly go to them and talk to them. How are they going to spend the day today? Kis uh, kis se guzarte hain aaj ka din? Aur kya kya khas hota hai? मैम देखिए इसके लिए पहले हमने अपनी शॉपिंग की अपने जानवर खरीदे आज कुर्बानियों की बकरीद का त्यौहार हजरत इब्राहिम अलैहिस्सलाम और इस्माइल अलैहिस्सलाम के कुर्बानी के जज्बे को जिंदा रखने के लिए मनाया जाता है 
इस पर मुसलमान पूरी दुनिया के जानवर की कुर्बानी देते हैं कुर्बानी का मतलब सिर्फ ये नहीं जानवर की कुर्बानी अपने एम्बिशन अपने डिजायर को भी सेक्रीफाइस करना यह भी एक कुर्बानी है सो वी हैव सम यू नो यंग पीपल हियर ऑल्सो विद अस किस तरीके से मनाते हैं आज का दिन और खासकर ईदी का भी बहुत इंपॉर्टेंस uh, होता है बहुत महत्व होता है किस तरीके से ये हम लोग सुबह नमाज पढ़ने नमाज पढ़ के फिर हम लोग घूमते हैं वो घर में कुर्बानियाँ होती हैं सब लोग बच्चे हैं सब लोग खुशी का माहौल होता है अच्छा लगता है इंजॉय जी अनिल ऑल्सो टू टेल यू इन द मॉर्निंग टूडे दे वर यू नो आफ्टर दे ऑफर द नमाज देवर पीपल अराउंड हुर एक्चुअली क्लिकिंग पिक्चर्स एंड यू नो एक्चुअली फोटोग्राफिंग द ओकेजन द फेस्टिवल टूडे एंड ऑल्सो वेन वी नो दैट सेक्रीफाइस इज वन ऑफ द मेन इंपॉर्टेंट रिचुअल इन दिस फेस्टिवल एंड सेक्रीफाइस नॉट ओनली द सेक्रीफाइस इज ऑल्सो यू नो डिवाइडेड इन टू थ्री पार्ट बेसिकली वन इज यू नो गिवन अवे टू द पुअर एंड नीडी वन इज फॉर द रिलेटिव और नेबर्स एंड वन इज फॉर यू नो द पीपल एट होम सो इट इज वन ऑफ दोज occasions wherein people share and care and also sacrifice being one of the most important rituals is you know also brings amongst people amongst the fraternity uh, a, a sense of uh, brotherhood a sense of togetherness uh, obviously and our festivals are also meant for that and especially at jama masjid here when we still have you know after offering the namaz people are still here and uh, even kids are enthralled because this is the time of the year again when they are going to get their eid yes anil okay you stay with us let's now shift focus marklin also joins us this morning from Shri. Srinagar Mark a uh, uh, very good morning Mark how's the situation there you know uh, Eid being celebrated people coming out in large numbers there in Jammu and Kashmir what's the scene and uh, how's the you know what's the report that you get for us from ground zero Well Anil uh, good morning to you and good morning to all our viewers uh, from Srinagar there's a tight security detail in place here in Srinagar i can hear the prayers in mosques in all four corners around me uh, but uh, you know people in large numbers are not allowed to gather since uh, section 144 is in place so people are going to the smaller mosques in fact prayers of the larger mosques are not allowed and uh, we were in fact outside one of the larger mosques today but unfortunately there are no prayers that are being offered there but uh, prayers are allowed in the smaller mosques and people are congregating there to uh, offer their namaz there are five different prayers of for the day as we know uh, but also a special prayer at around 10 o'clock uh, on the occasion of uh, Eid al-Adha today and uh, we can see that you know the sermons are currently going on in the mosques i can hear them over the loudspeakers uh, so we can see that as per the 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 solemnity of the occasion people are offering their prayers and uh, you know that is part of the beginning of the day and cele celebrations will continue perhaps uh, you know their restrictions will be eased somewhat in the afternoon people hope and uh, celebrations we can see that we will begin to see them on the streets currently of course people are not on the streets because of the tight restrictions in place okay mark also give us a sense of you know uh, the the arrangements that were put in place banks atms all functional six markets being put in place for people in shrinagar city for people could you know go out and by the essential commodities how easy was it for the people to go out and you know get the preparations uh, uh, ready for this big festival well they don't find a shortage of anything because uh, the administration has gone out of its way uh, despite the situation to see that uh, banks are functioning and uh, they're functioning on holidays and also atms of course people were wanting to draw large sums of money and uh, you know standing in large queues okay. may have caused a problem for them uh, and maybe restrictions on the amount of withdrawal because uh, when they need to buy uh, sheep it's, you know, these things cost money in certain amounts so uh, they wanted to draw large sums of money and perhaps perhaps were a little disappointed by the amounts that they could withdraw from uh, the atms but however they are making do and uh, they are uh, celebrating uh, eid in the spirit that it's meant to be celebrated yesterday we saw large numbers of people come out uh, buy uh, stores from the confectionaries pastries uh, various kinds of uh, other articles that are necessary for the celebrations today and uh, this morning uh, i saw a lot of people dressed uh, in the traditional patan suits dressed uh, for the occasion uh, and all ready to go to the mosque to pray 
So okay, uh, you know the 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 atmosphere is should be festive inside, uh, but currently we are not seeing it on the streets. Okay, Mark, you know you stay with us. Let me shift to Shushir. It started raining in Mumbai. Let me finish Shushir quickly. Shushir, this festival is also you know it strengthens the you know the spirit of generosity. The festival of uh, Bakrid. Uh, how do how are the people there you know in Mumbai celebrating it? Especially you know the young kids. It's all about Eid too. How are the young kids? Uh, uh waiting for the edis and uh, did you catch up with a few young kids there you know who are there uh, along with their parents absolutely anil you rightly said that's a festival of generosity and in the morning when we came here for the live even we got the edi from the people who had just came here to offer prayers here even though it's raining right now let me show you the pictures there uh, the arrangements have been made here for the people to offer prayers here well in mumbai basically this is a time you know uh, it's you know it's incessant rain probably you can experience in mumbai but in spite of that large number of people came here they offer their prayers right now we've been told that the 7 o'clock prayer just happened now the 8 o'clock prayer but in spite of that people have come in large number that shows that how enthusiasm it is and as far as of course the mood is concerned especially the mumbai's mood is concerned when it comes to eid be it any festival uh, be it you know holy diwali or eid people celebrate this festival with the same fervor and with the same enthusiasm and that's the reason as i told you yesterday when we was going through the market in mumbai the market was packed here the essentials were already there people have come to shop on a large number and in the morning also today when we came here people were quite happy actually we have one of the one of the father with us and of course one of the uh, senior citizen kaise manate hain vidhi aaj aaj ke din mashallah pehla to qurbani hoti hai namaz hoti hai iske baad mein fir matlab qabristan agar jaate to qabristan ja ke aate बच्चों के लिए खास होती है बच्चों के लिए ईदी हालांकि बच्चे उसका इंतजार करते रहते हैं ये देखे तो मतलब क्या है रमजान शरीफ नहीं है तो रमजान की ईद होती है ना उसमें बच्चे लोग को ईदी देना पड़ता है सब करना पड़ता है पूरे दिन में अगर देखा जाए तो एक दूसरे से मिलेंगे ग्रीट करेंगे मिलेंगे तो सही जरूर बिल्कुल तो दैट्स व्हाट दैट्स व्हाट यू कैन सी हाउ द पीपल आर हैप्पी हियर एंड सेलिब्रेटिंग ईद एंड ऑफ कोर्स दैट काइंड ऑफ एज़ आई टोल्ड यू दैट दिस काइंड ऑफ एंथुसियाज्म वी सी अक्रॉस यू नो डिफरेंट फेस्टिवल्स आल्सो इन मुंबई व्हिच नाउ वी आर सीइंग टुडे Okay you know uh, thank you and appreciate it Janika let me just quickly get Meghna on board Meghna you know this festival generally bring people closer to one another up you know how do you see that you know that particular uh, uh, festive celebrations there uh, in Jama Masjid and quickly give us uh, you know a, a summary of how the celebration how the namaz went about today morning Obviously, Anil, uh, as we all know, we have obviously seen uh, images coming from years and years. The serenity and the exuberance of the images that uh, actually take place here in the morning during the mass. So we have obviously had those images in the morning. We had shown you the visuals. And when we talk about festivities, as you asked, Anil, festivities are all about uh, you know about to start now after people have actually offered their mass and festivities okay. are about to begin. And one of the very important things which brings people closer is obviously food. I will quickly. just uh, you know get around some of the recipes which are you know going to be in everybody's houses who are going to celebrate uh, uh, today so kya kya khas khane mein banta hai iske bare mein bataiye madam dekhiye ye janwar jo qurban hota hai uske teen hisse hote hain ghar mein badhta hai ek rishtedar mein pehli uski apni apni favorite recipe banate hain biryani korma stew wagaira jo jo favorite recipe hai sab apni apni recipe bana kar khate hain aur mai hum apne college time mein bhi apne non muslim फ्रेंड्स को इन्वाइट करते थे घर पर सब बैठ के खाते थे हमने बहुत प्यार मोहब्बत की यही संदेश पूरे भारतवर्ष में है कि प्यार मोहब्बत से रहे जब देश भारत उन्नति करे so uh, that's how it is when there's food there's obviously togetherness there is sharing there's caring and obviously the when the festival obviously indicates and when the uh, festival is all Kashi. about sacrifice generosity Kashi. and togetherness and bringing in brotherhood obviously one of such pious uh, festivals are being celebrated with lot of enthusiasm and enthrallment amongst the people as we have seen since morning anil Okay, we leave it there. Thank you and appreciate all three of you joining us. Mark Lane from Sri Nagar, Shishu joining us from Mumbai, and Meghna joining us from Delhi. Thank you and appreciate all three joining us on Breakfast Show. Moving ahead, the Indian Railways has announced that it has cancelled the Samjhauta Express train that runs at its end of the international border days after Pakistan suspended services on its side. According to Northern Railway, Pakistan has cancelled the Samjhauta Express running between Lahore and Atari. The railways will run the train on Sunday from Delhi to Atari and back while Pakistan uses uh, used to run the train between Lahore and Atari an official said only two passenger were had booked tickets for Sunday service 
On to some weather news. Uh, after pounding uh, Kerala for days, there has been some let up in the rain fury on Sunday, even as the toll climbed to 72, with 58 people still missing and over 2.51 lakh people still in relief camps across the state. Various agencies, including the Army, Navy, Coast Guard, NDRF, police force, volunteers and fishermen are involved in the rescue operations at various places. Indian Air Force helicopters of the Southern Air Command drop food packets over the flood-affected areas of Malapuram district. Over 1,000 kilograms of food items were airdropped in multiple sorties. The Chief Minister of the State, Penari Vijayan, held multiple review meetings with senior officials. Meanwhile, the Kochi International Airport, which was closed for two days after inundation of the runway, has resumed operations on Sunday. Union Home Minister Amit Shah carried out an aerial survey of the flood-affected Belgavi district of Karnataka. He was accompanied by the Chief Minister B.S. Yadurappa, Union Ministers Prahlad Joshi, among others. The Home Minister also held a meeting with the top government officials and interacted with officials involved in the relief and rescue operations. In a tweet, the Home Minister said that both the centre and state government are committed to help the distressed people. Meanwhile, rain has subsided in Belgavi, but water release from dams have inundated several areas. The relief and rescue operation continues as around 2 lakh people displaced and over 50,000 livestock were evacuated from 245 villages in the district. Over 370 relief camps have been opened for all the affected people. All schools and colleges, both government and private, in affected flood-hit districts will remain closed till August 15th. Home Minister Amit Shah also carried out an aerial survey of the flood-affected Sangli and Kolapur districts in Maharashtra on Sunday. He was briefed by Maharashtra Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis about the current flood situation and the measures undertaken in the southwestern part of the state. At least 40 people have died and over 3.78 lakh people have been evacuated after heavy rains and release of a large amount of water from various dams that resulted in unprecedented floods in Kolapur and Sangli. Pune, Satara and Sholapur districts were also affected by the floods. Women and girls tied Rakhi to Army and Navy Jawans in flood-affected areas of Sangli in Maharashtra as an expression of gratitude. The women thanked soldiers for rescuing locals out of the horrific flood and showed their gratitude by tying Rakhis to the soldiers on the occasion of Raksha Bandhan. As heavy showers continue to lash parts of Gujarat, the toll in rain-affected incidents rose to 31. The Med Department has predicted heavy rainfall at isolated places in Saurashtra and Kutch regions for today as well. Fishermen are advised not to venture into the sea as squally weather is likely to prevail along and off the Gujarat coast due to active monsoon conditions. Several parts of central Gujarat and Saurashtra and Kutch regions have been receiving heavy rainfall since Friday. The Delhi Traffic Police has issued an advisory for the Independence Day function at the Red Fort and for its full dress rehearsal on Tuesday to ensure safe and smooth flow of vehicles across the city. 
According to the traffic advisory, seven routes, Netaji Subhash Mark, Lotian Road, SP Mukherjee Mark, Chandni Chok Road, Nishad Raj Mark, Esplanade Road, its Link Road, and Ring Road from Rajkar to Y Point, Hanuman Setu, will be closed for general public from 10 a.m. to 4 a.m. Seventy-third Swatantra Divas is Pandra August ko mana rahe hain. Aur hamare mana niye Pradhan Mantri Lal Kila se Rashtra ko sambodhit karte hain. Delhi bhar se aur bahar se bhi pure desh bhar se nagrik baki sabhi log samaro mein hissa lene ke liye aate hain. Iske liye Delhi yatayat police ne vyapak praband kiye hain. इस अरेंजमेंट्स के तहत जो हमारी कुछ सड़कें हैं जो लाल किला के आसपास प्रॉक्सिटी में हैं वे जो हैं बंद रहेंगी उसमें से जो रोड्स का डिस्क्रिप्शन है नेताजी सुभाष मार्ग है वो बंद रहेगा लोठियन रोड बंद रहेगी निशादराज मार्ग बंद रहेगा रिंग रोड राजघाट से लेकर वाई पॉइंट विद्युत शवग्रह तक वो भी बंद रहेगा और मोट रोड खास रोड एस्प्लेनेड रोड ये तमाम सड़कें बंद रहेगी Following news reports that CBSC has increased its board exam fees, the Central Education Board clarified that the hike has been implemented across India and not just Delhi as suggested. In its statement titled Facts About Exam Fee, the board has categorically mentioned that the exam fee has been hiked for all parts of the country and not especially for Delhi. The CBSE has also mentioned that there has been an increase after a gap of five years. The Central Board of Secondary Education has increased the fees of class 10 and 12 board examinations for SC and uh, ST students from 50 to 1,200 while the amount has been doubled for those from the general category who will now have to pay 1500 rupees. The statement by the board ha further mentions that the increase in the fee has been applied on all categories of students, not just in India, but schools affiliated to the CBSC abroad have also been brought under the ambit of exam fee hike. A resolution in this regard was issued by the governing body of the CBSC. In Nepal, hundreds of Indian citizens and friends of India enthusiastically participated in the Bharat Mahotsav at Kathmandu on Saturday. The event was organized by the Indian Citizens Association of Nepal and the Embassy of India to celebrate the 73rd Independence Day of India. A report from our Kathmandu correspondent, Rajkumar. The Embassy of India in Kathmandu was fully gripped by patriotic fervour on Saturday. The occasion was the second Bharat Mahotsav organised by the Indian Citizen Association of Nepal. Indian Ambassador Manjeev Singh Puri inaugurated the festival. Students of Modern Indian School, Kendra Vidyalaya and DAV School enthralled the audience. Indian citizens and persons of Indian origin, especially children, enthusiastically participated in the program. program. <laughs> A large number of Nepali friends also joined India's Independence Day celebration. India and Nepal has a such a good friendship and I'm very really proud of it. And as being a part of this is really amazing. The diversity in the cultures from the Rajasthan to the Punjabi Sikhs, I really enjoyed the performance. And I, as always, I've always admired my Indian friends. It's very fun in Nepali, but I enjoy Indian culture, Indian dances, Indian food. and. All of it, and I love India. A food festival of Indian cuisines was also organized. People enjoyed variety of delicious Indian food. 
The main attraction of Bharat Mahotsav was the Jugni band from Delhi. The band captivated audience with more than two hours with its mesmerizing performance. Rajkumar's report from Kathmandu for the news. Well, moving to more international stories, Hong Kong police have once again clashed with anti-government protesters as the city enters its 10th week of mass demonstrations and unrest. Police fired tear gas across the city on Sunday night, including into an enclosed railway station. In the Wan Chai district, petrol bombs and bricks were thrown at the riot police, who responded by charging at protesters with batons. A number of people, including a police officer, were injured in the clashes. The Saudi-led coalition intervened in Aden on uh, Sunday in support of the Yemeni government after southern uh, separatists effectively took over the port city. The call on the separatists to either withdraw from their positions in Aden or face further action. The infighting, which broke out on August 8th to control the port city, which serves as a temporary seat of Yemen's Saudi-backed internationally recognized government, has killed 40 people and injured over 260. Forces aligned with the UAE-backed Southern Transitional Council, which wants an independent South, seized control of military camps and the presidential palace. The development has complicated efforts by the United Nations to end a four-year war. The death toll from Typhoon Kima in China has risen to 32, with another 16 people reportedly missing. Officials say about 5 million people in Zhejiang province have been affected, with over 1 million evacuated to safer places. Lekima made landfall in the early hours of Saturday in Wenling between Taiwan and China's financial capital Shanghai, packing strong winds and heavy rain. It was moving further north up to the east coast on uh, Sunday. Most of the deaths were in the city of Wenzhou, where torrential downpours caused a landslide. Well, in neighboring Pakistan, downpours accompanied by thunderstorms caused flooding in the city of Karachi. The authorities suspended electric, uh, sup electricity supplies to flooded urban areas. At least eight people were reported to be killed, mostly by electrocution. According to the Met Office, Karachi is expected to receive intermittent rain during the next 24 hours, which would hamper the celebrations of Eid in Karachi. Well, moving to sports, uh, Captain Virat Kohli led from the front with a brilliant century, his 42nd uh, of his career to guide India to a comfortable 59-run win over West Indies uh, via the Duckworth Lewis method in the second ODI at Port of Spain. By virtue of the win on Sunday, India took a 1-0 lead in the three-match series. The first ODI between the two sides was washed out. The third and final ODI will be played at the same place on Wednesday. Well, let us now take a look at the top stories published in the newspapers from the national capital. Our first look is at the Economic Times. There is a big three-page interview with the Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi. It, it's on a wide range of topic that the Prime Minister has spoken about. He's spoken about exports, overseas investment, revival of the automobile sector, data protection and opportunities in Jammu and Kashmir after the government's decision on Article 370. The Prime Minister's simple mantra is to make India an investment magnet. It talks about various uh, opportunities in investment with capital utilization crossing 75%. We would see growth in investments from private sector in the coming months. Also, the government will continue to aggressively push public sector investment and accelerate the execution of these projects to crowd in. Uh, when you move to page two, he talks about uh, leaving no stone unturned to make India a better place to do business. Expectations from India and not only from within the country, but even in terms of global growth and development, a lot is expected from our country. Performance of our government during the last five years has shown the scale, 
speed and direction in which we work. It also talks about entrepreneurs to get better productivity and better profits. We want our industries to grow in speed and scale. We want our businesses to get access to bigger markets, uh, both at home and abroad. We want our investors to earn more, invest more, and create more jobs. It also talks about uh, a larger uh, India. He's talking about, you know, he's assuring everyone that India has a large enough market and big enough policy space to ensure growth of internal combustion engine, that's ICE based automobiles, as well as electric vehicles. He's talking about ICE vehicles as well as uh, electronic vehicles. We are in a unique situation where both ICE and EV based automobiles can coexist, co create, and learn from each other. So, Prime Minister clearly talking about uh, uh, many pertinent issues that uh, are important to the nation in this big interview to the newspaper, national newspaper. Uh, looking at our next headline about rains, rains everywhere, but there is still deficit, uh, rain deficit in many parts of India, uneven distribution of rain. If you look at, uh, you know, the top part, uh, the the northern part of India, not to the east, Jammu and Kashmir, deficit of minus 31, Himachal Pradesh, minus 25, Punjab, minus 31, Haryana, minus 46, Delhi, minus 43, Uttar Pradesh, minus 41. These are all deficit, rain deficit in this particular year. Sikkim, minus 21, Sikkim, uh, 21, Assam, minus 33, Arunachal Pradesh, minus 56. So clearly, many states that are... Uh, there is clearly uneven distribution of rain and many states being affected by uh, the rainfall deficit. Uh, good news for Delhi uh, travelers, smooth ride outside the metro station soon, a story that's come uh, in the Times of India. DMRC looking to end chaos in at least 89 areas uh, in and around uh, uh, Delhi metro stations. Last mile connect the smooth transition for computer, commuters from metro stations to bus stands, cycle stands, auto rickshaw base and two wheeler and car parking. So clearly the metro taking steps to make um, metro more viable for the people of Delhi. Our next look uh, is uh, at uh, Mail Today, destination, it's destination India for global fashion brands. Indian shoppers have little reason to look abroad for top Clothing brands as three of the largest global fashion retailers are now available in the country's fast-growing and fiercely competitive organized retail apparel market. Well, after a look at the papers, it's now time to take a look at today. It's the fourth and last Monday of the Hindu month of uh, Savan. Devotees are thronging to various temples to offer prayers to Lord Shiva. Well, for more inputs uh, on that uh, Savan celebrations, there joining us from Varnasi is our correspondent Harikesh Badur this morning. Harikesh, good morning. Harikesh, give us a sense the importance uh, of uh, the final Monday of Savan and also celebrations uh, happening in Varnasi city. Uh, Anil, I will tell you that Kashi, which is Kashi Baba Biswanath, is very important. And the Sraman Mass is very Baba Biswanath, ko, Bhole Nath, is very important. तो जो ये काशी है यहां पे जो बाबा विश्वनाथ के भक्त हैं जो गण हैं ये यहां पे जितने भी मंदिर हैं आपको मैं बताऊं कि यहां पे द्वादश ज्योतिर्लिंग का भी एक निर्माण किया गया है अपने पुराने जमाने में जो अलग-अलग मंदिर हैं जो द्वादश ज्योतिर्लिंग हैं भगवान शिव के वो वाराणसी में भी बनाए गए और इस बार यहां के प्रशासन ने यहां के उत्तर प्रदेश सरकार ने एक अलग से ऐसी व्यवस्था की थी जिसके तहत जो भी धार्मिक पर्यटक आ रहे थे वो द्वादश ज्योतिर्लिंग के दर्शन जो है काशी में ही कर सके अभी मैं आपको अनिल बताऊं कि इसके पहले मैं कर्दमेश्वर महामंदिर जो मंदिर जो बाबा विश्वनाथ का है और पंचकोशी जो यहां की एक यात्रा है जिसकी जिसके एक रास्ते में एक रामेश्वरम के पास जो है रामेश्वर के पास यहां के सांसद और देश के प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी ने एक पीपल का वृक्ष लगा के जो वृक्षारोपण की शुरुआत की थी और पिछले दिनों अभी यहां के उत्तर प्रदेश शासन ने सरकार द्वारा जो है 22 करोड़ पेड़ लगाए गए जो है तो उसके उसकी शुरुआत जो वहां पे हमने जो देखा कि जो प्रशासन ने व्यवस्था कर रखी है श्रद्धालुओं के लिए और यहां के हर मंदिर में 
आपको मैं बताऊं छोटा मंदिर हो बड़ा मंदिर हो क्योंकि यहाँ बाबा विश्वनाथ का बहुत ही प्रसिद्ध मंदिर है और अभी मैं जहाँ पे खड़ा हूँ ये काशी हिंदू विश्वविद्यालय के अंदर एक विश्वनाथ मंदिर है मेरे पीछे आप देख सकते हैं कि बहुत लंबी लाइन लगी हुई है कतार लगी हुई है और ऐसा हर मंदिर में है चाहे वो छोटा बाबा विश्वनाथ का मंदिर हो भगवान शिव का मंदिर हो और या बड़ा मंदिर हो चूँकि आपने कहा कि श्रावण मास का ये चतुर्थ सोमवार है भगवान शिव को ये माना जाता है कि सोमवार प्रिय दिन है और आज प्रदोष भी है जो हिंदू मतावलंबी जो इसमें विश्वास करते हैं उसमें एक प्रदोष का भी बड़ा महत्व होता है और लोग आज के दिन व्रत रखते हैं जो आपने कहा कि ये इसके बारे में बताने के लिए जो काशी के लोग हैं क्योंकि कण कण में मानते हैं कि भगवान शिव का निवास है और शिव के भक्त भी हैं तो ये लोग जो है जो प्रदोष है अंतिम सोमवार है इस दिन लोग व्रत भी रखते हैं भगवान शिव को प्रसन्न करने के लिए और ऐसी मान्यता है कि अगर आज के दिन आप व्रत रखते हैं तो जो पूरे दिन आप दर्शन करते हैं भगवान शिव का पूरे वर्ष भर में अगर आज के दिन दर्शन करते हैं तो उसका ये मान मिलता है अनिल ओके वील लिव इधर थैंक यू एंड अप्रिशिएट यू जॉइनिंग अस विद दोज इनपुट्स देयर ऑन द फाइनल मंडे ऑफ सावन वेल नाउ इट्स टाइम टू टेक अ जॉग डाउन मेमोरी लेन एंड लुक एट मेजर हैपनिंग्स दैट टुक प्लेस ऑन दिस डे इन हिस्ट्री Five, the Treaty of Allahabad was signed between the Mughal Emperor Shah Alam II and Robert Clive of the East India Company as a result of the Battle of Buxar of 22nd October 1764. On the same day in 1919, Vikram Ambalal Sarabhai, Indian scientist and father of Indian space program, was born in Ahmedabad. On this day in 1948, India won its first gold medal as an independent nation in the Olympics. Indian men's hockey team defeated Britain in the iconic Wembley Stadium in London. On the same day in 2013, India launched its first home-built aircraft carrier, INS Vikrant. Well, back in the present, it's time now to take a look at the events listed for the day today. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be featured in a special episode of Discovery Channel's Man vs Wild, featuring adventurer Bear Grylls. The episode shot in India's Jim Corbett National Park is a frank and freewheeling journey which will throw light on wildlife conservation. The episode will be broadcast in more than 180 countries on Discovery's network of channels. External Affairs Minister S.J. Shankar and Foreign Minister of China Wang Yi will co-chair the meeting of the India-China High-Level Mechanism on Cultural and People-to-People -people Exchanges and both the leaders will address the fourth India-China Media Summit Forum in Beijing. Minister of State for Youth Affairs and Sports Kiran Rijiju will confer the National Youth Award in 2016-17 in New Delhi. On the occasion, he will also inaugurate the photo exhibition on Indian youth delegation's visit to China. To mark the birth centenary of the founding father of Indian space program, Vikram A. Sarabhai, ISRO will commence its year-long celebrations consisting of national and international events at Ahmedabad. Well, Prime Minister Narendra Modi greeted people on the occasion of Eid ul Adha. In a tweet, the Prime Minister said, "My best wishes on the occasion of Eid ul Adha. I hope it furthers the spirit of peace and happiness in our society." Eid Mubarak. Well, let's now move on to our health segment, which is focused on deworming. Since childhood, the mothers time and again remind us of worms living in our body. It is known that the human body has both good and bad ones. It is essential that a child has to be dewormed according to a doctor's advice to have a healthy body. Let's take a look. Intestinal worm infections are commonly seen in children. According to WHO, 241 million children are at risk of parasitic intestinal worms in India. Poor sanitation and unsafe water increase the risk of spread of infections. This, there are certain worms. They are called round worm, hook worm, pin worms. They are they are, are the cause. They are the basically infection which uh, you get from soil. They are basically soil wall infections. And these infections, uh, once they reach body, they lead to a lot of uh, symptoms uh, in body. And the symptoms uh, which uh, somebody has infection of by these worms uh, could be abdominal pain. Uh, could be uh, discomfort in abdomen, uh, these children can have a, a loss of blood that is a anemia and many children also fail to grow in their height and weight. 
Intestinal parasites get into the child's body and use the intestine as shelter. The parasite lives in the intestine and takes the nutrients from the food that child eats. This leads to malnutrition, anemia and impaired cognitive and physical development of the child. Treatment is extremely easy. It's not difficult at all. It's just one tablet of a deworming agent one should, uh, one should swallow. How do we prevent it? Don't pass your stool in the open area and this is extremely important. Second, that you practice clean hygiene and one of the most important in that is to wash your hands after passing stool. Once you come out of the washroom, you must wash your hands uh, with running water and also with soap. And third thing is you maintain general hygiene. And fourth thing that you always use sleeper or shoes. Don't walk barefooted area. Deworming all preschool and school age children may help to improve their overall health, nutritional status and quality of life. Kiran Bhardwaj, DD News. Well, deworming children for a healthy tomorrow. Moving ahead, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has often stressed on the need to process waste into wealth. Rahul Khera in Gurugram is demonstrating how it can be done by converting waste into manure. By creating wealth from waste, Rahul Khera from Gurugram has not only transformed his life, but also dramatically improved his surroundings. He taught people about waste segregation into wet kitchen waste, dry waste and waste that cannot be decomposed at Parshvanath Society and nearby areas in Gurugram. The waste is put in a container and taken to a compost plant where it is kept at a constant temperature for 30 days, after which it starts converting into manure or compost. It is filtered into usable compost and is used in a number of residential colonies. Impact ये है इस प्रोसेस का कि ये तो एक प्लांट है जहाँ पे कि हम तकरीबन 400 किलोग्राम वेस्ट डेली प्रोसेस कर रहे हैं। हम लोगों की ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ने पिछले डेढ़ साल में ऐसे 10 प्लांट सेटअप किए हैं, जो कि 200 किलो पर डे से लेके 1000 किलो पर डे तक का जो किचन वेस्ट है, उसको प्रोसेस कर रहे हैं। with the help of the local community, not only has Rahul made his surroundings green, but has also provided employment to several sanitation workers. खाद बनाने का काम कर रहा हूँ मैं मेरे को भी अच्छा लग रहा है इसलिए मैं यही काम कर रहा हूँ क्योंकि खाद जो बनता है वो भी अच्छा है और फिर जो कुड़ा आता है किचन रूम का वो कुड़ा बाहर मत फेंकिए क्योंकि कंपोस्ट बिन में लेके खाद बनाने के लिए किसेस करिए Rahul and Parshvanath community are thus processing waste and providing jobs to the youth. Rajni Sain's report for DD News. Well, thousands of students and members of several social organizations unfurled a 15-kilometer-long national flag by forming a human chain in Chhattisgarh's capital, Raipur, on Sunday ahead of the Independence Day. The event organized by Vasudev Kutumbakam Foundation entered the champion book of world records for the longest tricolor. Thousands of people including those belonging to 35 social organizations across the state and students from various schools created a human chain while holding the 15 kilometer long tricolor from Ammapara Chowk to Pandit Ravi Shankar Shukla University. Soldiers from the state, police and CRPF battalions also took part in the march. The Vyangs on wheelchairs led the march, which was one of the most uh, uh, important moments of the march. Well, time now to take a look at the weather in your city. Well, before we end uh, the break for show, we leave you with a positive thought to kickstart your day. Be positive, stay happy and don't let the negativity of the world get you down. Let us now take you all to the island nation where people celebrated captivating annual Elsa pageant at uh, Kandy in Sri Lanka, which was marked with beautifully embellished uh, uh, elephants parading uh, along with dancers 
dramas and spectators. Take a look, enjoy, have a safe and wonderful day ahead.